Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. I wanted to share a recent experience because it was one of my few chances in my normal driving to get onto a freeway and immediately start going freeway speeds of 70 to 75 miles per hour. Part of this is because I know I've received a little bit of feedback about providing data in a recent trip up to Northern California, we were actually evacuated from a fire. So rather than leaving from my normal location, I, I left, you know, just a couple tenths of a mile from the freeway. So I was able to immediately get on the freeway and drive about 85 miles at freeway speeds of 70 to 75 miles per hour. Now, in addition to the energy consumption from that speed, I was also running the air conditioner at about 20 degrees below outside ambient temperature. So it ended up using about 5% of the total energy consumed along that route. I'll let you watch the video and then we can come back and discuss this because uh, like I said, there's still been some questions about what the Bolt EV's actual freeway efficiency is. I'm about to head out. This is a, a bit of a weird week for me or weekend for me up visiting my family. We were under a mandatory fire evacuation. So uh, I've been living out of a motel for the last night, but luckily we've been able to get everything out um, that was essential. And, you know, I was able to leave with a full battery, which is always nice in an emergency. And uh, anyway, so we're still under a mandatory evacuation up there, but it's time for me to head back to Southern California and go to work. I have about 85% of my battery left, but I'm right off the freeway now. I'm about to, to head out and uh, jump right on for about 100 miles, maybe a little bit more than that of 70 to 75 mile an hour freeway. So we'll see how this turns out. As you can see, temperatures are pretty nice right now, but that's because the you know, the smoke is blocking out most of the sun. I expect it to get much hotter um, later on uh, before we hit the Bay Area. And uh, my efficiency has been pretty good so far. But like I said, maybe about 85% battery. So I'm going to reset. Whew. All right, well, at least I got to turn on my air conditioner now. Uh, should be just a quick hop onto the freeway from here. We're heading out. And like I said, this will be 70, 75 mile an hour freeway. Uh, also, on a side note, and something that maybe I need to anticipate, this is my first run in these tires, so I don't necessarily know what to expect from the efficiency, other than that they should be very similar to the tires that were on before. So, I guess we'll have to play it by ear, and I also don't know what direction the winds are blowing, so... If I have to make an earlier stop, I will, um, you know, and all of this, it might look like uh, cloud cover, but it's actually, it's actually all smoke, so. We might get stuck in traffic anyway. We're passing through Dunnigan right now. We're about to head down Interstate 505. That's the junction that lets us head into the Bay Area. Try to get over a little bit now. Traffic is slowed down, but um, so far the uh, you know the efficiency has been a little bit worse than I would have expected, but. I am running the air conditioner and the tires are brand new. So you're always going to, to have a little bit worse efficiency when your tires are first installed. But also that being said, you know, my general rule for driving is I need to uh, have at least half a battery when I have a hundred miles of, of distance left to, left to drive. And I do right now, I'm a little over half of a battery and we're about 105 miles away. So 
one, I know the efficiency wasn't as good as it could have been just because, you know, this is 70, 75 mile an hour freeway. We're running the air conditioner. It is up to about 90, 95, maybe, yeah, 90, 91 degrees right now outside temperature. So, yeah, we're, we're gonna get a little bit worse efficiency heading in, but then the other thing, zero motorcycle, nice. <laughs> Battery operated for those that don't know. So my expectation is that our efficiency is going to get a little bit better uh, once we hit the Bay Area because the speeds are gonna slow down. But even if they weren't, I could artificially just slow my speed a little bit to ensure that I have the uh, efficiency needed to make the trip. So we still have another probably 20, 30 miles at least of this 70, 75 mile an hour freeway. And then uh, we'll drop into the Bay Area. And we are gonna get slowed down a little bit due to a, a couple of accidents and I'm sure rush hour traffic getting back after uh, a weekend so those aren't necessarily bad things and it's usually cooler in the Bay Area too so the air conditioning and battery uh, conditioning systems won't need to work as hard so right now we're I feel like we're still fairly good to go even though our minimum range estimator says 83 miles and we have 103 miles to go uh, like I said, I, ever since the patch, it just feels like the uh, range estimator has been overly conservative, uh, far, far more conservative than it needs to be. All right, well, there are a couple of things going on here that we're coming up to Vacaville right now, and there's a charger at the outlets. There's also one at the Arco, which... I suppose I could stop at the gas station for that one just as well, but that one's only a 24 kilowatt charger. So there, there are a couple of accidents on Interstate 80, which is you know goes without saying, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have enough battery to make it to the destination, but. I don't want to have to really worry about it too much. I don't want to have to uh, change my driving style. And there are a couple of alternate routes that might allow me to get around traffic that could add distance that I have to travel. And then if I get stuck in traffic as well, uh, you know, it's it's 95 degrees right now. I uh, You could end up sapping a lot of my energy just trying to, uh, you know, just trying to run my air conditioner to keep things comfortable in here. So, rather than dealing with that, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can sneak in here at the Vacaville EVgo. Uh, there's no guarantee that it's open, but like I said, in some ways it's better than dealing with this traffic. The uncertainty and it gives me a little bit more flexibility in terms of route so that I can uh, you know I, I can better choose how, how to proceed this though as you're seeing makes this a less ideal stop for people who are traveling it's good that it's actually technically open 24 hours uh, however uh, and it's also good that I like I like this spot because it's right next to mall security so if you do pull in and leave your vehicle there for a little while uh, you really don't have to worry um, too much very few people are going to do something right in front of mall security thing I don't like about this though is again this is 
one of the dual Chatamo CCS um, and only and then one Chatamo so hopefully they can get it to where it's supporting both all right let's go get a quick charge and I'm gonna run across the street and grab some coffee and then hopefully we can uh, just jam out of here so all right so based on the video you could see that my fuel efficiency for the Bolte B driving 70 to 75 miles per hour was about 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour by the time I ended the trip. And again, there's about another 5% of that energy being consumed just for air conditioning. And this is why I maintain that when I've been driving in normal conditions, which is mid 70 degrees, a baseline efficiency in the Bolt EV at 75 miles an hour is closer to 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour for me. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I pushed back on uh, Bjorn Nealon's uh, efficiency review for the Ampere E because, like I said, it doesn't match my experiences. And then the other thing to keep in mind about these numbers that I posted on this trip, my tires at that point in time still had less than 100 miles on them, and that can actually have a significant impact on the fuel efficiency. Again, my videos aren't supposed to be an authoritative source for what your fuel efficiency will be in the Bolt EV. They're simply a real world example of what I see when I'm driving and your mileage is going to vary based on your individual circumstances. Maybe you have additional passengers, maybe you don't inflate your tires to the same degree, uh, maybe use climate control differently. All of these factors will vary but again I'm just providing an example in as transparent of a way as possible of what I'm seeing in my real world driving. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And thank you for watching.